2004 Hurricane Fun Deck GS201. It's a 20 foot deck boat sitting on a single axle heritage trailer. Boat has obviously nice big bimini top. New tires on the trailer. Spare tire up front we've added. New carpet on the bunks and the fender wells. Boat is in good shape. Some minor cosmetic stuff on the exterior mainly and we'll point some of that out. But tons of seating room inside. You'll see that when we hop in. And it's set up with a five liter Mercruiser V8. We ran this, boat runs amazingly well. Um, GPS it at 50 miles per hour going down the water. So um, picks up real quick, gets up on plane. So it'll be a great boat to, to pull people behind. Let's start going around the outside. And main things you'll notice on here are a couple small nicks in the graphics and a couple areas on the exterior and a couple light, light scrapes in the gel on this stripe. But normal wear and tear on something like this chip there. This front corner's got a chip as well. A couple scuffs. You'll see some scuffs on the front rub rail on both sides. Um, bow ladder set up on here. Um, we put new docking lights up in the bow as well. Um, new anchor light on the bimini. Um, you'll see these ports on both sides of the bow as well where you can hook up some fishing seats in the front. And behind that is a hookup for a trolling motor. It does not include a trolling motor, um, but the electrical hookup is there if you ever want to add one to it. Again, you'll see some scuffs on the rub rail and another mark in this decal. Graphic on the port side is in better condition than on the starboard side. Alpha One Outdrive with a stainless steel prop on here. Prop is in great shape, spins free. We changed Outdrive fluid on that. Also on the engine, um, did a fluid change, um, put a new fuel water separator in it. And we'll take a look at the motor when we hop inside. Um, transom has a ladder as well. So easy entry on the front or the back of the boat. There's a tow hook on the back as well. And then spacious swim deck on the back. Let's hop inside. Interior vinyl is in awesome shape. Um, snap in carpet as well. Also, on the transom, you've got some storage bins. Keep dropping that. And then another one as you step into the interior of the boat. Plus size driver's seat, super comfy to sit in. It does have a bolster on it, so you can flip that up and sit a little taller if need be. The boat seats 10 people as well. On the dash. Um, instrumentation, pretty standard across the board. Depth finder. And then there's our hour meter at 401 hours. Oil changed at 400. Clarion head unit on the right does have a CD player, AM, FM, and is Sirius ready. Also a charging port below the steering wheel. 
fire extinguisher. Back of the boat has a nice wraparound seating. Table can plug into the uh, center port there on the floor. Let's take a peek at the engine. So there's that five liter V8. Great performer in this 20 footer. And then our fresh filter there. Let's see, 400 hours. Is when we change that. Cup holders around the back corners and over by the sink. Sink is here. Um, it's a pump. Uh, ran by the pump here, a hand action pump. Um, needs to be hooked up to a fresh water tank underneath. It's not on the boat. storage area under the dash as well as in our floors so you can see those two fishing seats are under there we've also got the full boat cover stored under here as well yeah, and all the vinyl is in awesome condition on here haven't found any significant rips or tears anywhere in it. Um, you've got a couple spots where you'll find some marks in it like this, but nothing into the vinyl. And a little bit of a spot right here on the front seat. Speaker grill's a little busted up on the top part there, but the speakers work fine. Show you under the sink here so you can see you can hook the water tank up to that and then if you pump the sink the water will obviously create a suction and, and flow through so this needs a water tank if you want to use the sink um, walk through up to the front has a live well and i keep dropping the camera um, so you got the aerator in there and then again a better look at the nose from up top where you can pop those fishing seats in and fish off the bow. Overall, a pretty clean boat. There's a lot of seating and functionality as far as uh, being able to pull a skier, having enough power to pull a skier and tubing. Um, again, nice top end speed on this thing. Seats are in really good condition. Uh, make a fun boat for, for somebody this summer. So give us a call at N3 if you have any questions. 317-845-9253. Uh, Thanks for watching.